everyone! Um, it's been a while, but uh, since my last video, I've collected quite a bit of photo cards. And I thought, uh, what better way to make another video than to make it a sorting video? So, I have a few photo cards um, off to the side in this ginormous box over here, which is completely full of photo cards. And I have some photo cards also off to the side that couldn't fit in here. And um, what I'd like to do today is basically just sort all of my photo cards into their binders. <clears throat> so since my very, very, very last sorting video, I have started new collections, as you could probably see from, from this. Um, I started collecting Zero Base One's Jiwoong. I also started a new Espa collection along with a new Rise collection. So, lots of new changes, um, but I thought this would be a really great way of showing kind of an updated version of my collection right now and where it's heading. So, I'll just jump into sorting some of them because I'm hoping this video won't be too long. So, this um, decorated top loader I bought off of a seller on Janu. So, it came in my previous mail haul and I decided to use it for this one. Um, originally, I was going to decorate my own top loader for Jiwoong. Um, that didn't go that well because I found another photo card that worked much better. So I'll show it right now. But So I got Hiju's broadcast um, off of a seller on eBay. And while I was making this decorated top loader, uh, it turns out it fit much better with this photo card than the Jiwoong one. So... Yeah, um, Hiju's broadcast is just going to be staying in here. You can kind of see a little stickers. Um, I think for now it's basically done. I might make some more little touches um, to it, but for now it's it's just staying as is. But yeah, so Hiju's broadcast is going to be in here. Now in this binder, I have my Jiwoon collection. So... There's just some of the photo cards here. I'll actually just pick it up and just to show. So it's a pretty complete collection, I would say. I have a couple of his photo cards off to the side that I would like to sort into this binder. Um, I also bought new pages because as you can see, I was kind of running out. Um, but what I basically like to do is just like grab his photo cards. So this is, whoops, photo cards are flying right now. Kind of spoiler for the rice stuff, but um, I have some of Jiwoong's photo cards here in the stack. This is that. And then I have a couple more in the box actually. So I'm going to grab that as well. So again, kind of big, big spoiler. Whoops. Again, photo cards are flying because this thing is really full. Okay. So a lot of the photo cards on top are Hiju's or Lucembo photo cards. So those are going to be put off to the side for now. So I have one Jiwoong one right here. Uh, I'm going to start grabbing photo cards. Also, sorry ahead of time if you hear my family because um, they're all home today and they can be pretty loud. So apologies ahead of time if you hear them uh, at any point during this video. But I can't do much, to be honest. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go through the stack and just take out any Jiwoong photo cards I have so that they can be sorted. Um, let's see, do I have... Okay, so I don't have any Jiwoong photo cards in this stack, so this is just going to go off to the side. Time to see if I have any in this one. Oh, okay, yeah. So, Jiwoong photo card here. Another one right here. And 
and that's it for this stack. And then this is the last stack here we're gonna check. I think a lot of these are Rise photo cards. Um, just because I had a ton of um, photo cards sort of piling up. Oh, and then CIX photo cards. I have Hobie photo cards as well. Hobie, Jimin, Tay. Oh, okay. Here's another duo. So we'll put them right here. And then that's it. Okay. So Jiwung Mail or Jiwung Sorting for Zero Base One. Not that many, to be honest. Um, I kind of... So for this photo card, I have a really cute idea for a page like this where he's doing that like little kissy, like pout face. And then, of course, like he has another one here. So I thought it would be really cute to put it on the same page. So I'm just going to kind of like slide it in. And yeah, okay. So then we just have to figure out where to put these four or these five actually. Um, the previous pages are full for the most part. I'm thinking maybe I could put, hmm. Maybe I could put like these two together and then these three together. I'm really, I'm going down the route of basically putting photo cards together that look cute together or match the vibes is the way I'm going with this. Um, as opposed to matching them based on like what album they came out of or what pop or, or stuff like that. Um, okay, so this doing one is kind of in a weird sleeve, so I'm just going to take that out of this one. I have these popcorn sleeves, so I'm just going to use them. Oh, whoops. I moved you guys out of the way a bit. This is going to go right here. And then the other three, I think I'm just going to put on this side. Um, I might move stuff around later on, but right now I think it's kind of in a good spot. I'm just going to sort of move you guys a bit. So that's it for Jiwoong. Um, I have more photo cards on the way because I did join uh, a fixed go claim for his new photo cards. Um, and all of those are on the way basically. I just don't have them on hand. So yeah, that's it for Jiwoong. Um, we're gonna move on to Lucemble next. Well, this is like my Lucemble Artemis uh, Heejin, Chu, Yves kind of binder. Um, so this is what I have for it so far. Of course, a lot of this is not complete. Um, but I'm slowly but surely kind of like getting things done. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did for the Jiwoong one and kind of just pull out any of like the Heejin or Lusemble, um, basically any Moon Girly photo cards I have for them. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I have that. And then... In this stack, I have these hijus. I have this. I do have this now. Um, if you know Mod House Pobs, you know that this is obviously not a regular size photo card. 
So just for reference, this is a normal size photo card. And if you kind of line it up, that's how big it is in comparison. So I'm really hoping that this can fit either the two pocket page I have because um, otherwise I may not be able to kind of store it away. And it is so cute. It's such a cute pop. I'm so happy I got it. But it definitely is really, really difficult to store when they're not normal sized. So I'm just going to take it out and gently and then just keep it with my other um, Moon Girly photo cards. And I have this last stack just to make sure I don't have any more... Uh, Luna photo cards to sort. Uh, let's see. Okay, actually, I think that's all. So, these are basically all the photo cards I have to put away. Um, again, I'm not so sure about where to put them. Let me kind of like, maybe zoom in a bit. Um, hmm. It's usually really hard to figure out where to put stuff. Oh, okay, actually for now, the Heejin K-pop, I'm just gonna put hopefully in here if it fits. Um. It might also be difficult to tell, but this is also not normal sized. Um, it is slightly bigger than a normal sized photo card. So hopefully this will go in with no issue. Okay, it kind of does. It is a bit tight, but it'll stay here for now. And then, um, let's see. Okay, I'll keep my Heiju stuff together, or Heiju, sorry. Uh, so Heiju, and then I have Go On. I do have... Wait, where is it? I'm supposed to have a Heiju Choco Pie. Pob as well. What did I do with it? Hmm. So I was thinking I can maybe put Gowans here and then Heiju's there beside her, but I'm missing it. Maybe there's a stack I missed. Oh, I did. Yeah. My bad. I missed the stack. Oh, yeah. I definitely missed photo cards. Oops. 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 Okay. Now we're actually done with that. So, okay. So I'm thinking Choco Pie Pops there. Or actually kind of like this way here. And then these are the album photo cards. Um, I have a section for them early on. So I'm just going to go back to that for these later. But for now, we're just going to focus on those, the pops and stuff. Um... And then I think I have So the filler has a little whoops, where did I go? What the heck? Oh whoops, it's not on the filler. It's on the actual page. My bad. And I messed up. Sorry if I keep hitting to the tripod. It's just it's kind of an awkward a angle for me. So I have to figure out a different way to record. But I was just really excited to sort these all into the binder. Because they've kind of been in that box for a little while. And I really wanted to see what they would look like in here. 
Okay, so we have her album photo cards. Now, I traded uh, Luna album photo cards for these two Hiju ones I was missing. So I'm just going to make sure both are sleeved and then we'll pop them into the album photo card section for this era. Oh, okay, so I'm kind of thinking I should just fit them here so that the entire page is uh, complete. I'm just gonna grab a sleeve for that one photo card though that doesn't have one. This is kind of a tight fit just because of the filler. Okay, so that's done. Mm, okay, I probably should have just planned this all ahead of time before I actually started the video, but you know what? Um, I like spur of the moment stuff, I guess. Okay. So, hmm. Now, because this is more newer era stuff, I'm thinking I should fit in some binder pages like in between this for the pobs that are from the previous era as opposed to this one. Okay. So these are the pops that I want to fit in the pages here. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab a single page for them, just from the back here, and let's see what we can do. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. I can't really do much about the sun, to be honest. Okay, so I'll just leave the huge stuff there. Okay, and then... Thinking maybe these three on the same page. You know what, for now, I'll just kind of like pop them in wherever. Might as well. Don't really have any like Christmassy themed bobs for her, so I'm just gonna like pop it in the back here. And um, as you can notice, I have been using fillers for binders. I didn't use to until I realized how cute and how much they complement the photo cards. So I have this huge stack of binder fillers, um, either from ones that I bought off of K sellers. Um, on bunging or ones that I just printed off myself. So I'm thinking So the kind of style of binder filler I have is like basically these. It's a, a little bit messy to be honest, but Having variety kind of helps because then you can figure out which fillers match the pobs better. 
I can't lie, I'm a really big fan of these kinds of prints because I have it like double-sided. So it's this plaid version or this kind of version here. So maybe for this one, I'll go with the gray. Let's see how it works. These are kind of a tough fit. They might not be perfectly cut unfortunately. I'm just kind of like... If I had to complain about binder fillers, the only thing is that they kind of make the page a bit of a tighter fit than what you might like. So, for example, it's kind of tough to like move yeah, see, like, move stuff around. So, let me try seeing if I have better luck kind of tucking in here without the photo card. Okay, yeah. So, there we go. So, without the photo card inside, it makes it much easier to put it in, but still tough, as usual. So let me just Oops. I just noticed I was putting them the binder fillers inside upside down, but it is what it is. One last filler for the Hiju on top here. Mm, okay, I thought for a second I'd have to trim it, but it looks like it'll go in okay. I hand cut all of these myself, so sometimes they're not very uniform, unfortunately. But that's what happens when you free cut and you don't use a machine to help you out. Okay, so... That's it with this page here. This is what I had to add, and then this is what the back looks like. So it's uh, kind of... I don't know what kind of print to call it, but it's a print. It's a great print. Okay. And then we have these ones to sort. So most of these are POBs slash merch photo cards slash benefits. So... Um... So, for example, the Go On and Hiju here, they're from the the Grip Talk for their merch. This is from the um, L Holder set. So it comes as a full set. You get all five members. So I was thinking maybe of kind of putting Go On and Hiju's together. And then... Or maybe selling go ones. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with go ones, but I'll just keep it off to the side for now. Um, I'll show you what the L holder ish kind of set looks like. So this is basically it. You got all five members in a set. And I think for now I'm just gonna store he just away separately because she's the one in the symbol that I collect and I have photo cards of other members as well that I just keep because I really like them okay, so I'm going to use the sleeve to secure them and keep them protected in the binder I'm thinking maybe I'll actually tuck in this hiju here. Either this one here or this one here. 
Okay, I'll go with this one here. That's what I'm thinking might fit better. Okay. And then for these ones, I can kind of do like this. So this is the Merch Benefit photo card. Um, this is, these are just her pobs. So actually maybe what I'll do is like put that like this for now until I get more of her pobs on the way. Um, cause I joined a ton of goes for this era. So, or for this comeback. So I'm just waiting on them to arrive and then, uh, that'll help me figure out where to put everything basically. So for now, they're not really like matching vibes or anything like that, but it's the best I can do right now. Mm, okay, and then in terms of, maybe I'll use these ones. I grab four of them and see how they fit in here. Let's see if it works. Yeah, this is also kind of a tight fit. I did hand cut them, so they're not the best, to be honest. fix this up so that it's not off center oh and it still goes off center what are you gonna do okay and then for these i'm just gonna remove them so i can tuck in the fillers i probably should be putting fillers first but at the same time it just helps me get a sense of where everything is going when i don't have them in first and then I put them in after. Okay, I might have to just trim this first. That is why I have my handy dandy scissors with me. I'm gonna give it a bit of a trim. Whoops, that might be a little too much. See if it goes in now. Okay, great. Yeah, it goes on much better. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to get this inside. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. And then hopefully this will just go in nicely. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's what we have for this page here. And then this Jinsel Pop is kind of off by itself, but it's for a good reason. I have more uh, pops from Doll on the way, but it's just kind of taking a while because the goes literally just finished. And um, if you know, they still have events going on. So these aren't all the ones that I have on the way. Um, okay, yeah, these definitely will not fit the four pockets that I have. Um, Excuse my rummaging around. I do have these two pocket pages, so I'm thinking maybe I can just like tuck it in there uh, for the sake of having it in something because I would really like to be able to display it in the binder. And this is my best bet, to be honest. Um, yeah, see, so like it, it kind of works. It kind of does. The page is still a bit bigger. But you know what, I could always make like a little 
finder filler that can like cover this thing um so it works yay at least i can have it in somewhere so i'm gonna put it on the bottom for now and it is side loading or sorry a uh, front loading i guess from here um and then my plan is like i said to basically try and print out like a filler of some sort that i can use to fill this up and then uh have it behind basically have it like displayed on something so it doesn't look so empty but yeah okay those are all of the lucembo photo cards i had to sort i still have more on the way like i mentioned more lucembo pobs more artemis pobs um but for now these are just the ones i have on hand and this is how my binder is looking so far um i do have a separate luna binder because i have been collecting them since uh their photo cards since debut so um i decided to keep that separate but i got like artemis and lucembo and chu and yves their own um binders so i have yves photo cards on the way and I've been eyeing a few events for Chu. But if you know, Chu will have lots of really great pops um, with her recent comeback. Which, by the way, if you have not listened to, you really should. Because it's so freaking good. I'm actually obsessed with the songs on her album. Okay, that's enough talking about my moon girlies. Because uh, I could talk about them forever. Um, I'm going to move on to the next binder. Um, hmm. okay, I'm gonna move on to the Espa binder. So, I just started my Espa collection, and because of that, I have been catching up with a lot of pops um, or a lot of photo cards. And I have to say, it is so hard to choose a bias in Espa because they are all just so damn like. They're such strong members, like they're so good. The group as a whole is just so, I don't know how to describe it, but okay. But as you can see, I have a lot of like Winter and Ning Ning photo cards um, from previous eras or previous comebacks. Um, I have quite a bit of photo cards. So I'm just gonna work my way through the stack and like kind of separate them. Um, as you can see, I have like their QQ music photo cards, um, some other stuff, other Giselle pobs, lots of Giselle pobs because I couldn't help it. A um, couple photo cards I have to sleeve still. Uh, and then the Rise stuff. So Rise will be the last binder I sort stuff into um, just because I also have a lot of their photo cards as well. I also have this, which I think is the Japanese album photo card. They had like a sort of exclusive. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. I might be getting it wrong. I also have this beautiful, beautiful Giselle photo card. Um, I have a ton of Giselle ones here, like her LOVE set. Another winter QQ music, um, more rise, more rise. These are all rise, and then we get to the uh, Armageddon pops. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm not gonna lie though. Most of the ones I have to sort are all Giselle. Um, I guess I'm leaning towards standing her in the group, but I'm also, like, I'm not partial to collecting photo cards from, like, other members. Like, I'm so obsessed where with pops or photo cards where, like, members are showing their nails for some reason. I don't know why. I really don't know why, but, like, you can tell, right? Um, so my basic plan is to sort their, like, QQ music, because I have, um... I have two photo cards for each member for the QQ music set. So I have like Winter, I have Karina, I have Ning Ning, I have Giselle. So I want to sort that um, on a spread together. Um, try to figure out how. 
I'm gonna like I'm gonna keep pushing the I'm gonna put the photo cards off to the side for now. See, but this is why you should figure out where everything goes beforehand before you decide to record. Um, so bear with me, but yeah. Um, so I kind of want to put maybe like their stuff like this. Also, I love photo cards where members are outside. I think it's just so, it makes for such a nice photo. So, oh, and also these are not double-sided. Okay, so I'm going to have to go from the front side for these to put them in. But, let's see. them in like that. I'll put like Karina's in from here as well. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, that's the one page done. And then we'll move on to the next one. Some of these pages are kind of stuck together because they're not used, they're new. Okay, so that's it for QQ Music. I'm just gonna move on because the video is already getting so long and I haven't even started sorting the Rise photo cards yet. Okay. Um, so for Giselle's photo cards, I have a lot of them, but there are photo cards that I want to keep together and photo cards that I don't mind keeping separate. But like the Armageddon stuff, I kind of want to keep together. Um, photo cards that are sort of similar vibes, I want to keep together, like because she's wearing the same outfit in this one, for example. Like I want to keep them together. Um. Again, I probably should have done this before I started recording, but you know what? I didn't, and that's on me. So, I hope you guys love watching me fumble with the photo cards and probably get mad over photo cards dropping and stuff like that. My bad. Um, let's see. I also literally want a whole freaking like eight pocket spread of just Blonzel photo cards. I found on Twitter an actual template of just Giselle photo cards where she has blonde hair because just rightfully so, okay? Even I am obsessed with photo cards where she has blonde hair. So I kind of want to keep it off to the side. Um, I think those I'll keep together. Okay, so um also checking the back helps to see where they are all from. Okay. So these are her my world. This is the girl's photo card. Uh let's see if I have any more of the my world or the yeah, the my world album photo cards. Maybe I do actually. So this is girls. So this comes from the same set, so maybe I'll keep it. Um I don't know actually. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll check the backs for these. So this is okay. Uh Oh, also, like, eight page spread of Blonde Giselle. Oh, sorry if you hear that. That's the garage door opening. 
super loud. What are you gonna do? Um, okay, Armageddon I'll keep off to the side. I might actually put like the Armageddon pobs with the other ones I have. For now anyways, and I might just like move them around later on just cause. Uh, I might actually end the video once I'm done sorting the Espa photo cards I have, unless I can really be quick with the Rise ones, but I feel like I have a huge stack of Rise photo cards. So I might just sort the Rise photo cards off camera, just because I feel like it. Um, and then the garage door is opening again for... Okay. Um, so I mean, maybe I could start with like these two, so I'll sort like, I'll put these ones on top. If only, if only this page could actually go in properly. I'm just gonna move you guys closer because this is, I'm a bit far. Sorry for all the moving you around. Okay, and then I'm thinking these two will be on the top. So I'm gonna get some sleeves for them. Oops. So I got some sleeves. That's a little crooked, but you know what? It's okay. Um, and then mm. Mm -mm -mm. still kind of struggling to figure out where to put stuff, but I do know I want to keep these two together. I would like to keep these two together because similar vibes. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll give that a try. Okay, so the two photo cards on top are going to need sleeves. Oh, whoops. a bit of a cough for some reason even though it is the middle of summer and usually no one gets colds when it's really hot outside yeah. so I'm gonna put this on top And yeah, these are not, I have to keep reminding myself that these are not double-sided. Okay. So that's that page. Um... And then we have to figure out what to do with the other ones. So, I 
Maybe I can actually keep like these two together, these two together. We'll keep these two together. These two. I'm just wondering what I'm going to do with this. Sometimes it's really hard to fit vibes for vibes, to be honest. It's really difficult to figure out where to put things, but okay. I think for the most part, I know that I want to do the spread like this for this page. So um, I need sleeves for each of those. I'm just gonna grab four sleeves for them. So, got four sleeves. top and then I'm just going to tuck these in the back here okay that's it for that page um no actually maybe for this page I'll like tuck this in here I have my eyes on another Excel photo card, so this might go with that one. Um, I have plans to buy that photo card off of Janu as well, um, but it's probably going to take a little while to get here just because usually I do like three month turnarounds for photo cards that I buy off of Janu because they're a uh, warehouse time is three months so it makes like shipping out and all that stuff worth it um but for now i'm just gonna keep this photo card here and i'll keep oh i got this as a freebie as well from a seller on janu which was really nice um Why do I feel like I had another photo card that is similar to this Giselle sweater one? I feel like I had, I had it, but I couldn't figure out where I put it, so. Oh well, okay, so that's it for this page then. Um, and then I have Blondzell. So I think this is where I want to do that spread of like eight photo cards of just Giselle being blonde, basically. Um, because for sure there's like photo cards, seven other photo cards I can find where she's blonde. So I'm just gonna leave that empty then. Um, and then I want to do a spread where it's the uh dyed hair for Zell. So I want to do like the LOVE set like this, and then her other photo cards that are like pobs or exclusive photo cards um over there like that so i'm just gonna flip these over because i got this from the seller like these and i'm a big fan i don't know how you guys like to sleeve your photo cards but i'm a really big fan of turning the opening like towards the top and then sleeving it like this because i feel like the pocket usually uh will help protect the photo card better if the sleeve is going from like oh this is difficult to explain but going from like the top of the photo card down and not the other way around i don't know why but i've just been doing it for ages like i have proof you can go to like my bts collection video and uh, see how i was sleeving then but i've always been a big fan of sleeving photo cards like this
Oh, this is a workout. I'm already getting tired. Also, it does not help that the pages are kind of like not used um, because it makes it more difficult to kind of tuck photo cards inside. Okay, and then for the cell photo card, I got it in a sleeve from the seller, but I don't like using sleeves that are colored or have colored backings. Um, because I'm a bigger fan of using I'm a big fan of using fillers. So yeah. Okay, so I have this binder spread for her done then. Um, and then what I'm gonna do next is just sort these photo cards that I have. So I have uh, the Make Star Panda, really cute. Um, I have Close Up. So someone has an entire eight pocket spread of these photo cards uh, where she has like the crystals in her cheeks. And it's so cute. I don't know if I want to go that far to do that. I might do a spread where it's like one of this and then another photo card side by side. Um, I want to keep like the Ning Ning and Zell together and then maybe put this ning ning down um so maybe i'll do like sell here let's try that oh i think i have to yeah i have to take this out this is not a sleeve that i i use it's the sleeve i received from a seller and i'm not really a big fan of sleeves like these don't ask me why but i just don't like the way the sleeve is in the binder but yeah look at this it's so cute okay speaking of cute giselle pods there's also that alien pod where she's holding that alien plushie and i kind of just like i'm so upset i never got it Um, I'm trying to think what I should put with it. Don't know if I want to put this one or something else. Well, I did say I wanted like this and then another one. So I'm thinking, I think I'm just going to tuck this in here. And then maybe figure out where I can find another version of this kind of pob where she has like the jewels on her face. Um, I have album photo cards from Armageddon on the way as well. So those are most definitely going to be sorted later on though. Just basically I've been getting a ton of, ton of mail since I started collecting. Uh, um, <clears throat> oh, that voice crack. Since I started collecting new groups. Um... I never really like committed to collecting Espa until this recent comeback they had because I was pretty obsessed with the album and the song. Okay, sorry, Ning Ning. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put, see look how cute it is. I love her nails. Yeah, don't look at this nail though. But it's so pretty. It's such a pretty pob. Okay. And then I think I'm just gonna kinda tuck this one somewhere. Just kinda somewhere. Maybe I'll actually put it with this. Because technically she is kind of blonde in this one. 
So it technically works. It may get moved later on to a different page, but who knows? Um, so I'm just going to tuck it on top here. Okay, that kind of works. Uh, I think that's literally all of the ESPA photo cards I had to sort. Uh, so I'm just going to close this. And then kind of move it off to the side. Okay, now I think I am going to end the video here just because it's kind of going on a very long time. Um, I still have a ton of Rise photo cards to sort, but I feel like I can put all the photo cards together in a separate video by themselves. Um, again, Rise was another group that kind of took me by surprise. Wasn't expecting to collect them, but then kind of went full-blown collect mode and uh, got a ton of their photo cards. So I will probably end up sorting those in a different video um, just because they also had a recent comeback and I've been collecting photo cards from that as well. So yeah, okay. I'll end the video here. Okay, bye everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe, please, so that I know that you want to see more. Um, I hope you look forward to that Rise video. Okay, bye.